Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Automaton. Today, I'm going to be thanking Munspilly, one of our patrons. Thank you very much for your support, Munspilly. So, we've got a list, a big list, a very big list uh, of things to do, and I, I realize that, yes, the drill is going to be one of the goals I'm going to be aiming for. Let's get rid of this map right now. We don't need that. Uh, but... Before we get there, I feel I probably could use some of the materials I have at hand. I'm sure uh, some people tend to get a very large buildup of creosote. And you could make like the really large tank storages and such. And I'm thinking at this point, maybe I should come up with some way of actually using that. And there are many ways of using it, but I was thinking something a little bit more practical. Um, and not with a big heavy machine. I was more thinking about a flamethrower. Because, you know, when you're down in those, those uh, like, large mob spawner areas and you've got groups of enemies and if you get a little too close and they start hurting you and stuff and you can only shoot one at a time with a bow and if you use your my, my spear here, then they still have to get close enough for it. But I was thinking the flamethrower might actually might actually be in, well, I don't know, that, that area of what I'm looking for. And then we can continue on with some other stuff. But uh, wait, what is it? It's a chemical thrower, isn't it? That's right. It's not a flamethrower. It's a chemical thrower because it can throw all sorts of different chemicals, including like water to put out fires or uh, other things. There, there's all sorts of stuff. I did a little bit by bit on this a long time ago, and I've got plenty of materials at this point. So I'm kind of thinking this is what I'm going to go for. Uh, let's see if I have any of the materials stored here. Uh, some pipe. I've got one of those. Uh, heavy engineering block. Hey, I know I've got some of that. Let's grab one of those. And then more of the wooden grips, bucket, and pressurized air tank, which is more buckets and lapis and iron mechanical components, which isn't a problem. Oh, by the way, uh, something I should mention is that I switched out the, uh, the spawner from cows because I was just getting unbelievable amounts of leather and uh, beef. And I put in zombies. Uh, so therefore... It's now a, an official mob spawner, like bad guy mob, so zombies are in there. And it's a slow process. I mean, this is not all that I'm getting, but these are the main drops that you get from the zombies. And yeah, I was hoping to get like a bit of an iron farm out of it, but in fact, I kind of did. And yeah, there's no organization to this. I actually have to manually take these out, then sort them, and then manually put all these in here for now. But at the moment... I mean, look at all these steel leggings and iron swords. And then if I craft these together, I can toss them in an arc furnace and get materials back, which is pretty cool. But an arc furnace is a very long way off. Uh, at least I feel that it is. I might be able to get there a little bit sooner than I anticipated, but I guess we'll see. For now, though, I'm getting lots of drops. And um, I, I hope to be able to get an XP uh, enhancement for this thing at some point. So that I can start gaining levels and uh, not have to worry about, uh, you know, going out and fighting enemies to get the levels that I have currently. But yeah, chemical thrower. Let's get back on track. All right. And I think that pretty much does everything there. I mean, uh, I kind of skipped through the crafting process for you guys, but I now have it. Yeah. And this should be able to make you. I just love the animation of this. <laughs> it's such a good job. Man. Uh, all right. So, oh, and I think for that, I completed a quest as well, which gets me a rare shader grab bag and a loot chest. We'll grab one of those. Okay. The chem thrower can be used to spray liquids around the world. It can be useful for building, but also for defense. Like the revolver, there are various upgrades you can apply to your chem thrower in the engineer's workbench, like a larger tank, a better nozzle, and the ability to store multiple fluids. We're going to claim that. And uh, let's see, what do we got? What do we got for shaders? We got Twilight. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Okay, this is this is good. Actually, let's make it daytime first so we can see the uh, the shader much easier. So first and foremost, let's let's see how this looks on the drill. Which yeah, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna take that off of there. Leave this on the drill. We're gonna try the chemical thrower first. That looks pretty crazy, um, but I don't see why not. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what the uh, 
this one's going to look like on it. So let's switch these out. Maybe this one will look better. Oh, that does look better. And yeah, it's the Fallout version. Yeah, I, I totally just like face palmed that one. And I think this looks better with the Twilight. Twilight, yes, yes, which is uh, uh, the uh, Legend of Zelda with Midni and stuff, or Midna. All right, let's open this up. Oh, 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 this is good. Oh, my goodness. I've got a lot of uh, applied energistic stuff again. Okay, this, <laughs> I keep saying it's going to make things so easy. By this point, I'm probably going to have all the things that I need, but uh, chemical thrower. What can it be used? Well, besides a, a turret, which I don't think I'm really going to need turrets per se, because this this pack doesn't seem to really have invasions or anything like that. I'm not fending off mobs and it's constantly attacking my base or anything, which is kind of nice because this is a relatively chill pack. But there are some other upgrades that I might be able to use. One being a larger tank, which I think I'm going to have to have. The focus nozzle is kind of nice it, because it increases the range. But it also makes it a narrower area, so I don't know if I want to do that. And I don't know if I really want the multi-tank either. So I think I'm just going to go with a large tank. So that's uh, iron, some steel, more iron for the buckets, and some red. All right, be right back. All right, so I think that should suffice. I think for most of them I need to make one more. Oh, I forgot one copper ingot. I'm making two large tanks because now that I've got enough iron I can make one uh, I can make them for, actually I need that first. There we go. Take that out. I can make one for the uh, the drill as well, because if you look here it says increases the internal tank size of the mining drill and chemical thrower, which I think is going to be very important. There we go. And now I can put these on both of these tools and make them last much longer. Now, of course, the chemical thrower is, well, it's not going to take very long at all to do, to uh, probably evacuate the uh, the internal stuff. And you can see, I think it shows up. On the side, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't see it. I think it's on the uh, side that is actually not showing in here, but that's all right. Put this on here. Yeah, it makes the tank size on the bottom of this even bigger. There we go. So I think that's all it did. Is it just made something bigger on the other one as well? All right. So now we just need to fill this with some kind of liquid. I don't know if it'll work like this. No. Okay, maybe I need to make a jerry can and work it out from there, I guess. Unless I can make a regular drum uh, or a, a barrel. And then I can just click on that. That's just a bunch of uh, iron sheet metal, which I've got one, two, three, four, five. And then it's, oh wait, I've already got some for the, uh, the flat parts. So let's try making that real quick. I think that's all it's going to take. Uh, like this metal barrel okay put that down and then I can fill this with that yep and there we go that works uh, I wonder I could refill that back up again if I can do this and use that it does work okay the only way I know this is because the meter down here now says full it doesn't make the sound Empty. Full. Cool. So I can carry those around instead. This... I don't really need this. Uh, I'm sure I'll need it to build something in the future, so for now... Drum, you can get put in there. And I can bring these with me. Let's put the uh, mining drill back in place for now. And don't you jump off that edge. And then I've got another one in here that I can take out. So I've got several of these and now, now I can, I'm afraid to use this in here. Let's go outside. <laughs> Over by where there's some water or something. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. Because I don't know if this is actually going to set things on fire. I don't know if there have been updates. Okay, that just sprays this stuff. I need to actually turn the, um, oh, what is it to, uh, to, to set it to light? I can't remember because it's not currently set to, uh, turned on. Time to read the manual. Okay, it said sneak, right click. There we go, now. Yeah, and it does not seem to light things on... Oh, it does leave a, a burning image on the ground, which is nice. Boy, it uses that up so fast. 
<laughs> so this is a good reason to uh, go with a bit of fire uh, in your life because, you know, you can use up a lot of creosote this way. And I figure the sooner I use this stuff, the better. I will need some for crafting more of the uh, the, the planks. Uh, I got to be careful what I click on. I don't want to. I know that it's not actually going to set my house on fire, but immersively, I, I feel walking around with a chemical thrower in a house made of wood, even if it is fireproof, um, is a is a bad idea. <laughs> now, I have been making a lot of plates, like uh, in most of the items that I've been making. And I was thinking I need to have a little bit more of an automation. And it's one of the quests that I, I think I already completed a while back. Now, let's see, going, was it here? Electrodes? No, it was back here somewhere uh, where I needed to make the an actual uh, like a press. So I think I'm going to be making that. Maybe setting it in the floor or something? I'm not entirely sure. Actually, in the floor over here would be bad because I need to see it through the floor. I guess I could set it up right here. And then we'd have like a box next to it. Oh, but that the, or the box would have to be like about where this torch is. Hmm. See, I'm not entirely sure how to set it up because the thing kind of, the inputs and outputs are at a weird angle. I might just skip any uh, inputs and outputs on it because it, it works best in a floor, in my opinion, because then you've got a box here, a conveyor, then you've got the press, conveyor, and another box, you know, and, and it just kind of makes sense. But if it's going to be on the floor like that, and then I see it through the bottom, that's going to kind of be a big downer. All right, so I do have, it would appear, all the, the required materials to get this going. Now, I don't know if steel scaffolding that has been converted into a different type of steel scaffolding will still work. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's put this uh, here for now, I guess. And put down the redstone block, uh, put down the heavy engineering block. I do need a piston, and I'm going to need to rotate that. But for now, we're going to do this. That was the wrong way. That. There we go. I think I can just rotate this. There we go. They just need to be facing the same direction. Uh, which, yeah, I think that's the proper direction for me. Yeah, I'm probably not going to have that there. But for now, it's a good spot. For now. <laughs> All right. So if I put this here... Can I rotate this? There we go. And then there. Perfect. And then you can always place and uh, redo it, I guess. But let's see. If I open this, do I have any of the molds for this? I thought that I had. There they are. Metal press. And then I also have a wire press, too. And I believe I can actually just switch them out just by clicking on them. Yep. That's a thing. It'd be nice if I could put this somewhere here, but for now I'm going to leave it on the metal press, and we do need some power running to it, which means I could probably just run one from there to here, I think. Yeah, that should work. So I just need a little LV cable. Hello. There we go. One of those. And LV wire connector. And we can make this work. Uh, put it on top. Then connect this to here like i said not the best spot but it should work and if i take some kind of metal do i have any up here i don't think i do no i don't but if i toss some kind of ingot on here it should stamp it into a plate which is pretty darn cool uh, in fact i have some, some metal press mold wire and i do have some of these, I could take a couple of these and try making some of the wires for this just because. Just throw it on there. No? So I realize now that I'm just being absolutely silly because uh, I don't even. Yeah, it, it's not going to work because you don't turn steel plates. <laughs> I mean, you do with the wire cutters, you turn them into steel wires. But you don't turn steel plates into wires using the press. You, you, you turn ingots into wires using the press. So I was just being absolutely silly there. Sometimes I just can't help it. So let's put these things away. 
and I now have the option of making that. So let's continue on with not this book, this book, and heading back and seeing actually what was it? Uh, overcome your enemies. That opened up the base defenses, and then I, I wouldn't doubt that that probably just expands to both the uh, the turret and the uh, both of the turret types, maybe. Gun turret, chem thrower turret, yeah, there we go. Gun turret, chem thrower turret can be useful for providing automated defenses while your base busy building your factory. Just be sure they don't run out of ammunition while you're not looking. Yeah, so I think I might skip that for now. I do kind of like this, though. Oh, you have to get an elytra and tr four dragon's breath? Ouch. The end is home to many treasures, including the elytra, but first you'll need to deal with the ender dragon. Note, you can attach your elytra to your chest plate in an anvil. Oh, just be sure your chest plate doesn't break or you'll lose your elytra. Hmm. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Cause I don't, I have no idea how Enderman would react to a uh, chem thrower or a dragon or Enderman will react to a pistol. I, I bet you the Enderman will just teleport away, but that's curious. And I will probably need some way, tier three from, oh gosh, we'll need some way of getting to the end and finishing that off at some point. Just don't know that it's going to be today. So let's continue on with some other quests then. I was hoping that there might be something more of interest, but I guess we're going to continue on with this. We can do some electrodes and work towards the arc furnace, or we can work towards making that diesel so I can get, so I can get the drill going. That might be worthwhile. Plant oil. It's going to be a lot of uh, small stuff. Oh, I've already got everything except for four wooden barrels. Oh, okay. We could do this. And there we go, four wooden barrels. And that actually completed that quest. Great. Now that we're building larger machines, they're going to need larger amounts of power. We should probably think about building a better generator. That generator is the diesel generator, which can generate up to 4,096 RF per tick. It burns biodiesel to generate power. To make that, we'll need to refine plant oil and ethanol. Plant oil is made by squeezing seeds in the industrial squeezer. Grab this loot chest. And head back, and then we need the ethanol, which is going to be all this stuff. Which, I might have a bunch of this already laying around upstairs. Ooh, cauldrons. I might need to grab that from down here. Yep, there we go. Cauldrons. I'm going to grab the pistons as well, because that's just going to make sense. Alright, just filling my inventory with a lot of the things I already have. Should... Wait, is the steel scaffolding the wrong kind? It is. So let's just convert that back to the other stuff. There we go. <laughs> Quest complete for ethanol. Get another loot chest. Claim. And which actually I should read. The other ingredient for biodiesel is ethanol. Ethanol is made in the fermenter from crops like sugar canes, apples, potatoes, melons, etc. Which I think with the latest uh, version of immersive engineering, which this is not, you can actually break apart uh, melons properly and use that. But then you get biodiesel. Two heavy engineering blocks. Didn't I have two? I thought I had two in my inventory. I guess not. I only have the one. I didn't know that I used two of them. What the heck? All right, well, that actually gives me an excuse to uh, get some of this going here. I have two steel plates. I'm going to need a total of more. <laughs> let's grab those because the uh, heavy steel uh, what is it heavy engineering block is going to need four per per one of these steel mechanical components I have four right now so I need four more so that's at least four ingots unless uh, I think I think it's a one-to-one -one that this thing uh, makes let's find out actually it could have been changed in the config so it makes more could have been so it makes less I don't know Let's just take a bunch of steel for now and see what that's gonna do because right now I'm just looking for an excuse to use it. All right, so if I toss this on here, one steel ingot goes in and I just made some wire. Dog on it. <laughs> I thought I switched that out. <laughs> Come here. We're gonna take the plate and put it in place. And try that again. That was a one-to-one -one for the wire, though. And that looks like it's just made one plate. Yeah, just one plate. So it's a one-to-one. -one. 
uh, but it doesn't use the durability of my hammer anymore, which is just about exhausted at this point. Um, oh, I got two steel wire for that. Oh, so maybe that is worthwhile for the uh, for that one by far. All right, so what else do I need? Oh, right, I'm going to need three more at least. So let's toss these on. One, two, three. And they'll just sit there, but they'll be taken one by one. Yeah, there we go. Now you could put a, uh, a hopper up there if you so desire. Probably make things a little simpler. Heck, I could probably put a hopper at the end here as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make this work a little bit better. So if I just have this facing down, those will fall into it. And if I have this on top, that should drop things into it as well. Neat. All right. So let's open this up. Heavy engineering block. I'm still trying to make that. I need an electrum ingot. I've got a couple pistons and a bunch of steel. So I just need the electrum. And having my quest book in my hand is a bad idea for this because I keep on wanting to uh, pick things up. Let's put some of these items away. Put this away and this away. And I should be able to make a couple of these now. Oh, I'm missing copper ingots. I keep thinking that I'm just nearly done. I need to get rid of some of these barrels now. There we go. Two steel mechanical components. Another set of two of those. And there's the quest complete for biodiesel. Another loot chest. Yay. And then, oh, have I already completed this? Oh, it's because I've got all the items in my inventory. Alternative, alternate, alternative power. Looking for something even more renewable than biodiesel? Then the steam turbine is for you. The steam turbine uses the steam production produced from the boiler or solar tower to produce energy. This is part of a, an, an uh, immersive engineering add-on mod. This power generator starts off by using the distiller to create distilled water. Note, although the distiller is optional, it is more efficient. Nice. And I've completed that, so let's grab a loot chest. Okay. Oh, that's going to be key. And this. Oh, mining drill and an, oh, an iron drill head. I have to have made an iron drill head. Ugh. That that kind of, that's that's crappy. That's a lot of iron. Can I use the, I can get the iron back in an arc furnace. Okay. All right, so let's get a couple blocks of iron. One, two, three, four, five of those. And I can make this. Ugh. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit sick. <laughs> and here's the other thing. I don't know if I have to have the drill stripped down for it to accept in the quest. For now, let's just put it in my inventory and find out what happens. Hey, it worked. Choice reward, pressurized air tank, large tank, advanced lubrication system. That one we haven't made yet. Pressurized air tank, I think that allows me to it work underwater. Um, air tank allows the mining drill to operate underwater, which is fine and all, but I think the uh, lubricating system is going to be much more useful. That'll finish off our current drill very nicely indeed. There we go. Oh, that thing is so good. Ooh, challenge complete. I've the big daddy challenge. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's fully upgraded now. It just needs fuel. <laughs> okay. Let's put this thing back in here for now. Oh, my inventory is so packed with stuff. Let, let, let me empty this stuff out and I'll be right back. And I did get another rare shader grab bag. This one is Sutherland. Curious. Let's see how this looks. Wait, what? Interesting. I don't think I like it as much, though. Uh, I might try it on some of my other stuff, but there we go. Twilight, it is. Uh, now, I've got so many rewards. Uh, I still have hoppers to get rid of here. Let's dump those in there. And start opening some loot boxes. What do we got? 16 dense smart cables. That's good. This, more of those. This, acceleration cards. Nice. And this. Speed upgrades and efficiency upgrades. I think I've already got enough of those, but I will take a look. Hmm. Yeah, I might take a look. And yeah, the furnace mod is even updated further as well. Like all the mods in this mod pack are like practically 
getting a bit outdated <laughs> and it, they they have a lot of really cool new content in them but where is it the pelvis yeah i've got max efficiency i i guess i could toss in some some speed upgrades if i really want to the oh that's right i got rid of the furnace because uh, i was using the external heater with a couple of furnaces instead uh, because the those just tend to work a little bit faster and cheaper uh, without me needing to use lava anymore so I guess I can just put these in here for now. Man, I've got so many of these upgrades. <laughs> if only I could stack the efficiencies. Uh, all right, so I've got a bunch of applied energistic stuff. Man, so much of that at this point. Oh my goodness. I just realized there's a betterer pickaxe with the steel drill head and the uh, additional augers. I can get that quest as well. So many quests. And here's the thing. Because I haven't built any of these large machines yet, I, I keep on getting, like, for example, if I go over, let's let's go to the, uh, the core sampling. You make that. And then there is, oh, what was I just clicking on? Here we go. Look at this. Diesel power. This is a diesel generator. All these things. Look, I've already completed some of them, right? I could just make more heavy engineering blocks and more of these other things. And then I don't need to actually use them if I so desire. But I feel that I, I probably should make all these machines at some point. But uh, in the meantime, better a pickaxe, steel drill head, and additional augers. I've got those. This and this. Hey! <laughs> and I get another steel drill head or loot chest. You know, I'm going to go with the loot chest at this point. Because the steel, I'm not as concerned about as I was before. And let's see what we got for the loot chest. An ender chest and an ender pouch. That's actually pretty good. That, that I do like that. That's not bad at all. Um, yeah. Actually, that's really good. <laughs> do I even have anything in it? This allows automation of items to go into different inventories. Oh, I should have been using that this whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the only problem is those, the the NBT data items, which are, are going to have all that information. But still, I could put ammunition in here, put those in there. Um, Yeah, that's really nice. So, and I can keep those at home. I can put Visaline pellets here. Do this. I just need to keep my ender pouch and then I now have like another backpack with stuff and these things uh, only if well even if the chest gets blown up it still should be all right that's nice it's very nice did anything else open up after that doesn't look like it so then it's just a whole bunch of these a few more heavy engineering and some iron sheet metal you know what? I might as well just keep on banging these out getting as many loot crates as I can that might actually help speed me along. Oh, so close to getting enough sheet metal. All right, so I will need a little bit more of that, and I will need more heavy engineering blocks because I think I only had three in one of these chests here. Yeah, I've only got three, but um, I think I will go downstairs and make a few more uh, items just to finish off this quest. All right, in the moment of truth, when I get to find out if this works. No, at least not like that. Okay, let's try this again. Come here, you. And I think if I do it this way then, that should work. Let's put six in there. Yeah, that's working. Yep, there we go. And then it should get caught in the hopper at the end. Yep, which is good. And then things aren't like bouncing everywhere at least. I realize this kind of blocks my window space at the moment, but I, I'm not entirely sure if all these windows are going to be where they are. I, I was kind of thinking this might be like a factory-looking floor, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still up in the air about how that's going to end up looking. So, with this I should be able to make a little bit more of this. Steel mechanical components, and then... Oh, I forgot the pistons. Good thing I've got a couple more up here. All these ones that I've been stealing from the villages have been coming in really handy. All right, there we go. And I still need a little bit more iron sheet metal. Of which I'm actually going to take a half a stack's worth. Because I know I'm going to need all this sheet metal. 
uh, for a lot of stuff it's at this point. And I'm just going to put it in here and start flattening this out. Once I've got enough of it, I'll uh, be right back. There we go. That should be four. Yep, there we go. And I can make that into the sheet metal that I'm looking for. There we go. And that should finish off the quest. Complete. Right? Grab the loot chest. Alternative to steam. And then, oh, and it keeps going. Oh. Industrial turbine. Jeez. Solar tower. Wow. Oh, actually, I just need steel sheet metal and steel fence. Oh, it just it just triggered there. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to having enough steel fence. Uh, how about the sheet metal? Do I have? I have three. <laughs> that's that's not quite enough. That's going to be a bunch more steel. Um, I'm I'm so tempted to just get even more of these done, but I feel at this point, let's just open up this last one. Ooh, mechanism stuff. Okay. Pressure, wait a second, we got a universal cable, that's useful, mechanical pipe, pressurized tube, logistical transporter. Okay, I'll probably put that in the applied energistics chest next. So here's the plan for the next episode, at least this is what I'm kind of thinking uh, in the meantime. Put all that in there. Because I need biodiesel so that I can start mining normally but i was also thinking i could start getting an excavator that's one of the quests in here the uh i believe that's right after the core sampling uh and then it's this one's even called excavation <laughs> so we make a, an excavator that thing's just gonna pop out so much material provided it's got enough power but i need to have power going I have a lot of options at my fingertips at this point, and I do need biodiesel to run my drill. So I'm thinking I am going to do uh, plant oil and ethanol production. I will make a very, very weak um, platform going on out here. It's not. It's probably not going to be uh, uh, supported or anything like that, just like uh, a floor for me to work on to start with. And then from there... Uh, once I get a bit of that going, I think then uh, I will start doing a little bit of mining and then we can work on expanding with some of these other really cool machines and options that we have coming on. Um, I don't think that I have anything else that opened up. Oh, modern technology. Requires diesel power. Okay. Which is what we need to get to anyway. Uh, yeah, right here. Yep. The diesel generator. So we won't be able to get to that just yet. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any specific setups that you think would be good, obviously using a cloche is going to be key for, for making those items, using a little bit of power so that I can get power. I don't know why that glass is waving. That is really, really awkward on the, on the cloche behind me, but just, just don't look at it. There, there you go. You don't have to look at it anymore. So... <laughs> If you have any other tips for the base, uh, considering what I've suggested, having some kind of large structure coming off the uh, backside that's like a construction uh, platform, uh, some kind of struts or anything like that, I, I don't know, what, whatever you guys think might be cool, I'd like to hear it. So please uh, give me some comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to stop by Twitch. We stream most, most nights around 10 p.m. UK time. I will see you next time.